All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And I'm just gonna say before we get any further into this video that today is a highlight, okay? These kinds of videos do not come along every day. This is gonna be one of my favorite videos of all time when it's all said and done. And I think for good reason here. So something unfolded on Twitter, okay? And it was kind of personal, okay? Because a friend showed me this, okay? And he was like, hey, dude, do you see this? Like, this is insane. And the moment that I saw this all going down, I was like, I know I gotta make a video about this because I don't know what it is about people and like coming to the internet to just brag about doing moronic, horrible things to other people for absolutely no reason, but it seems like people forget that like other people can see the things that you say and they can form their own opinions about them. And that's exactly what happened here today. So today we're gonna be taking a look at a girl who basically exposed herself for being a piece of human garbage. I mean, in all reality, I mean, literally creating so much waste that it had to be noted. So they came to Twitter on their account to share multiple reports, basically, of them being a horrible tenant on Airbnb. So Airbnb, Airbnb is basically like a service where you can find like apartments or homes or whatever to rent for a few days at a time. It's basically like getting a more personal hotel. And of course, the owners of your Airbnb can set rules. For instance, most of them set like a no smoking policy. A lot of them have like a, a, a no pet policy, no party policy, things like that. The basics, right? They don't want you destroying the house or whatever. So they set up some rules, but Apparently, it's cool to just not listen to that, man. Apparently, it's cool to just be the worst type of person that you can be for this entire thing. And not only that, apparently, it's cool to come to social media to just tell the whole world about it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to present the evidence to you guys first. We'll go ahead and react to that. And then you really need to watch through this video because it's literally just going to be complete gold all the way through, man. Like the reaction that I got and everything is just spectacular. Warning, do not host Nika. Nika and her sister and their cat stayed in our boutique hotel for five nights. During their stay, they locked themselves out of their room several times at all hours of the day. They left three full garbage bags of trash, cat litter, cat food, sticky foods and drinks, and drug paraphernalia scattered across every inch of the guest room. We spent over five hours cleaning the room in order to get it back to normal. We have a strict no pets rule, so finding the cat in the room was a surprise. They also burnt a hole in our new and expensive bench pad. There was so much food, cat litter, and cat food smeared into the carpet that we had to get the carpets shampooed and then block the room off so that it could dry. We of course are trying to collect from them through the resolution center, but my hopes are not high. Before they left, they tried to extend their stay, but their card was declined. You've been warned. They shared a bathroom with guests who were renting another room. Nika is a sweet, delightful young person with some distinct practices that may not align with some hosts. We enjoyed interacting with her in our home. However, she did ask to stay additional nights, did not pay for her final night, and left the room and bathroom in a disappointing condition. A ruined rug and burns on an easy chair cushion, burn mark on bathtub, ash from saging all over, remarkable amount of ash, many burn marks in the new sheets, a 33-gallon bag of food waste, cat litter and cat food in every corner of the room. When we asked her to pay for the final night and additional cleaning fees, she accused us of, quote, milking a young person. Our other guests shared that Nika told them about how she's complained about hosts in the past in order to get reimbursement or free stays through Airbnb as a practice. We have no way of confirming this, only share so others know this came up. Nika should never be permitted to rent a space through Airbnb. She left a disastrous mess in the bedroom. She snuck a cat and put litter in box, uh, the litter box in the closet. The linens were filthy, left on the floor and covered with cat litter, cat food, etc., burned incense and a washcloth, smoked on the front porch and left the butts on the floor. Once we discovered the condition of the room, she left unannounced after being uninformed or being informed that she was not welcome to stay the night. Many bags of debris and food had to be thrown away as Nika suggested. The whole experience was unfortunate and sad. She's a very troubled young woman. Okay, so where do I even fucking begin? I mean, the fact that somebody actually lives like this and finds this like an acceptable way to behave, go about their life, I'm stunned. But I mean, the shit that's being detailed here is just beyond anything, okay? And it's unexcusable, okay? So first and foremost, I'm a daily smoker, okay? I don't smoke nicotine, I smoke weed. I'm fucking, I'm high right now, okay? I don't think people who don't smoke realize how much effort you have to put into actually fucking burning things, okay? I smoke every single day. 
I have never burned my bed sheets. I've never burned my clothing. I've never, never burned shit. You know what I'm saying? You have to put fucking effort into it. Like you have to deliberately like hold the lit end of like a blunt or whatever you're smoking onto whatever is being burned and like kind of hold that shit there and let it burn through in order for that kind of damage to be done. This isn't some oopsie daisy. I ashed and the cherry fell out and it's burned through the whole, a hole through all this shit. No, that's not what's going on. It's just straight up fucking vandalism, okay? The whole thing is vandalism. I mean, violating all these rules, leaving garbage, smearing cat food and cat litter and shit on the floors. It's fucking vandalism. And honestly, it pisses me off. And it pisses me off because of the way that she came to Twitter to kind of brag about it, right? She, on her public account, screen recorded all of this and put up like a two-minute video detailing all this stuff, which I now have screenshots of, telling the world what she did. So that that was the evidence, okay? That, that's what you saw. Also, as a cat owner myself, yeah, you don't get cat litter all through the fucking house, okay? If you take care of your cat's litter box, there's barely even litter that comes outside of the cat box, let alone being tracked all through the house and all in your bed and stuff. Like, that's just not acceptable, so... Absolutely filthy human conditions, and uh, then comes to Twitter to brag about it, so... This you? Yes! Bro, wait, none of these hosts are like cool or decent people. I'd never do that to someone's home if they were a good person. So what you see here is attempting to morally justify vandalizing people's fucking properties that they own and put out through Airbnb to make money? Basically ruining people's property that they use for income, being a complete fucking dirty butt, you know what I'm saying? Just not being a clean person. Just being a bad person in general, trying to morally excuse it. Oh, they're not good people, which I find funny because how are you anyone to call anyone a good fucking person when you're legitimately bragging to us right now that you're a vandal, that you're a fucking menace to society, that you're a threat to the nation, that you're a hazard to the public, and you're telling me that, oh, if they were a good person, you know, I, I wouldn't burn their fucking shit with my smoke. I wouldn't have my cat in the house even though they asked me not to. Like, that's not even a hard rule to follow, bro. So this was all put out onto Twitter, and I see all this, and I make it public, you know? I retweet it, I quote tweet it, and I say something about it, and I call them out for this shit. And then they come to me, and they start begging for me to delete my tweets and to stop talking about it. This is where it gets funny. Can you please delete this tweet? I wasn't showing off. This is my private account, and I would really appreciate if you take this down. I really just want a private account, please. Thank you. Okay, well, let me go ahead and explain this for you here real quick, Lilith. Which, by the way, is not the name that you're using on Airbnb, so... I'm not going to delete my tweets, and I'm not going to hold off from making this video, because you deserve to be publicly shown for doing this shit. And you even agree with me that this should be public information, considering the fact that you spent two full minutes recording these complaints, putting all of these details about yourself out, publishing them to Twitter.com on a public account, might I add, and then attempting to fucking defend it to people who started responding to you, stunned in all reality, that you were showing what you were showing. So yes, you were showing off. You literally took all the effort in the world to put this shit out, you then defended the actions, and you're now not showing off because somebody with thousands of followers decided to speak out on the shit you were doing. Keep in mind, this would all still be public. This would all still be on her Twitter account. Her account would be public. Had I not said that I was going to make this video and quote tweeted her. If that never happened, if I never interacted with her, she'd still be telling on herself. Second off, this is not your private account. In fact, actually, it is now your private account. Now that after I said something, you went through the fucking trials and tribulations of making your account private, which apparently you couldn't do from the jump, even though you wanted that so desperately. This is all on you. You put all the evidence. Like, there's nothing in this video that I've shown that isn't directly uploaded to the internet by you. This video would not be possible without you. This is like a fucking PBS program. Today's special is sponsored by viewers like you. Thank you. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. You are the reason that this is happening to yourself. And I hope that you learn a couple lessons from this. Number one, don't be a fucking piece of shit. Don't damage other people's property and act like that's cool. Don't tell on yourself on the internet if you think that this is acceptable behavior, knowing that no one's going to support this. And then don't lie about that shit. 
Keep in mind, the things that have been accused against her, if it really wanted to be pursued by these Airbnb hosts, could turn into fucking criminal charges. She's literally put all of the evidence out there to suggest that this was intentional vandalism because she doesn't believe that these are cool people, and yet she's upset because she's being called out on the platform that she put all of this shit on. I mean, you literally can't write it better than this. Ain't. You know what I'm saying? If they saw this, they should be ashamed. But it's okay, because after it was all said and done, she had a perfect response to everything. Okay, whatever. Everyone hating on me, I'll vandalize your house next. Yep, because nothing says, you know, oh, hey, I, I want a private account. I'm not bragging about this. You know, I, I just want this to go away. It was just all a big mistake, like threatening to vandalize people's houses, whether you're joking or not. Keep in mind, this all came out after I basically told her to go fuck herself and told her that I was going to continue basically roasting her for this. I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, she brought it on her fucking self. I mean, with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch, at sub to Optimus. Uh, if you follow me over on Twitter, maybe more of this kind of shit will happen. I don't know. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. In fact, today only, I'm doing a 20% off site-wide sale. Only for people who actually don't leave their fucking Airbnbs destroyed. Obviously a joke. But anyway, yeah, until my next video, yeah, Optimus just stunned and signing out.